Hey, what's going on, you guys? Sir Burns a lot with Team High Cloud. I'm bringing you a 1v1 game on Barons today. Uh, it's one of the DLC maps for those of you that do not have the DLC. And um, it's a pretty fun map and everything. I don't really know what to do that much on it, so I'm kind of just playing this by ear and kind of see what I can do. And uh, the gameplay is not going to be extremely good because, like I said, I don't really know what to do on this map. But I'll do what I can for you guys and see what uh, see what happens. Playing against a cutter here. Um, nothing really... Nothing really exciting going on, but I hadn't posted in a little while, so I wanted to go, uh, to go ahead and post a video and talk to you guys about a few things that I've been thinking about, and um, go ahead and just, uh, you know, just wanted to post something for you guys. Anyway, um, I'm having a problem with my YouTube channel, and it's a problem that a lot of YouTubers that I know of, uh, they don't have this problem. My problem is that I have too many ideas for videos. And I don't like working on one of them at a time. I like kind of, uh, I like kind of branching out and doing one of this and one of this, and just keep bouncing back and forth. That way, you guys don't get bored doing the same thing. Because I know, it. I don't know if it was boring for you guys, but it was super boring for me doing just the Super Turtle videos and like just day after day after day. I'm just working on these videos, and it just gets really boring. Um, so I've got a bunch of ideas for the channel, and. Um, a bunch of ideas for like series that I can do and stuff um, and there's a couple of things I want to talk about in this video uh, that are happening in the Halo Wars community just wanted to go ahead and address a couple of things um, give you guys my opinion on a couple of things that are happening and uh, we'll just go from there and see how everything goes but the first thing I want to address is the ideas for the channel uh, I have uh, I have been playing 1v1s a lot because I do like the map control uh, that you have to do on the games, which pretty much brings Marines and infantry and stuff back into the game. Because originally I was a 3v3 player, and in 3v3, uh, infantry is pretty much unheard of because of the candy glitch and a bunch of other stuff that uh, just contributes to it. Banshees, Goss, tanks, and everything, they just kind of rule the meta in 3v3s. Um, in 1v1s, you can actually use a barracks and actually do pretty well with it. So I'm starting to kind of like 1v1s, but I'm liking 2v2s as well. So I've been learning a lot about these game types and learning the maps and everything like that. Um, been doing my own independent research. I've uh, been talking to other, uh, other YouTubers and other Halo Wars players, getting their comments and everything on this. And I know that a lot of people have probably already figured the game out and figured out how to do this, that, and the other. But I know there's a lot of players that I've played with personally that could really stand to uh, use a little bit of knowledge on these maps and everything. Uh, granted, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a professional by any means as far as this game is concerned. Um, and I don't know everything there is to know about these maps and everything. But I was uh, I was thinking about doing some series about uh, different the different maps in 1v1s and 2v2s. How to play them. Um, what, uh, what leaders have what advantages on which maps and stuff like that. Just the stuff that I've found. There's probably um, some of it might be completely off base. But... Um, I just figured that might be something interesting for the newer players, and it would be something, uh, maybe a good refresher type thing to uh, the people that have been playing the game for a while, um, or people that are just trying to get a little bit higher level than what they are right now. Um, by no means am I saying that I'm a high level player whatsoever, I've never claimed to be a high level player, but I do claim to be better than the average player, and I do know how to get you from that step where you're sitting at about 20 true skill, maybe even lower than that, where you can get into mid-30s pretty close to 40, but I, in my opinion, you don't really hit high level until you start getting into the 40s. Um, so I'm working on it, getting there and everything, but the findings that I found are pretty interesting, so I thought you guys might want to look at it. So those are the ideas for videos. Um, I plan on doing a walkthrough uh, for each of the maps uh, explaining not just like the leader matchups and what units to build and stuff like that but explaining the map itself um, and giving you a couple of uh, bits of information you might not have thought of and also um, in school I was always the kind of guy that really was into math and everything I was looking at being an accountant for a long time um, I'm trying to break the game down especially economy wise mathematically uh, to give you guys a mathematical uh, equation essentially that's going to tell you what leader is good at x like at x point in the game which leader has the advantage where how to regain the advantage how to use that advantage to keep building advantage when to push when not to push all based on math 
and it might be confusing for some of you guys, but I am going to explain it in further detail in some of those uh, videos when I do start making them. It'll probably be a little while before I do it, but hopefully you guys will find that either entertaining or at least a little bit informative. Um, I think it'll be I think it'll be pretty good for those of you guys that don't really. Uh, you guys will probably see how it works and everything when I start explaining it, but you probably will just be like, hey, I, you know, I really didn't think about it like that, and just. Like, if people have it directly explained to them like that, I think that they'll have a little bit uh, better chance of understanding it. And uh, in doing this research, I've been finding a bunch of stuff out myself and growing as a player, and I'm I'm actually learning a lot. So hopefully, uh, hopefully when I start making the videos and stuff like that, you guys will enjoy it as well. Um, so like I said, I'm, I think I'm going to do a map tutorial um, especially on the DLC maps, because a lot of people don't really play the DLC maps. Like with this one, uh, this map here, I've been trying to work on it to see if I can find some strategies that'll work, because I hardly ever play Barons. Um, I normally play Chasms, Tundra, like, uh, I even hardly uh, get Perth, and Perth is, I mean, it's just a regular map, I believe. I don't think it's a DLC at all or anything, but it's, um, but then again, I've been playing with the DLC so long, I don't remember which is and what isn't. Um, like with this map, you have to understand that there's a healing ring in the center. You'll be able to heal your leader, so there's no point in getting your leader killed. In most other situations, you don't want to try to build an engineer or anything to heal your leader because it's just not going to be cost-effective for you. Like, engineer will heal your chieftain, but it'll take a long time unless you build more of them. Let's say you build two of them. That's the cost of a tank. So if the cutter player on the other team, uh, he could build a tank against my two engineers, and that could be a problem. So just little things uh, like knowing where the healing rings are, uh, the supply elevators and how important they are for your leader and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to be one of the things I'm going to be doing. Um, also, the Marco style video I posted, the uh, the one where it was like a spoof on how he commentates and stuff, I'm going to be doing more like that, but I'm going to post those every once in a while because uh, with those I have to get pretty, I have to have scripted gameplay um, because I want to make it as close to what they actually do as possible. So... Um, that's that's gonna be the biggest problem with my next person. I'm not gonna tell you who, uh, who it is or anything, but um, I think it's gonna be pretty fun, and I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as you guys seem to have enjoyed the Marco style one. Um, but like I said, that's another uh, thing that I'm working on. I'm also working on uh, actually it's a uh, a music video type thing, like how Mitch has the uh, he has like the Super Turtle anthem and stuff. I took a song and made uh, lyrics to it, and I'm gonna be looking at uh, making it into a song. It's uh, it's not really as much of a funny song as his was. Like it's actually kind of badass, but that's I mean that's just my opinion. Some people might think it's kind of stupid, but uh, I think it was kind of fun. Um, but I'll be posting that soon too. So I mean I've got a bunch of ideas. So if it seems like it's just too off the wall, there's too much going on, then just kind of bear with me because that's that's just normally how I work. I can't really just do one thing for a long time or I'll get bored. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do there. All right, let's move on to the next topic here. Um, like I said, this game is not really much of anything. I'm just trying to tech this guy out trying to get the reactors try to get uh tech three infantry if he does go for air or something like that i can always just get an expansion put a summon up it's not really that big of a deal but um this is by far not the best strategy to use on this map because i got delayed so many times i got i got set back so many times because i didn't know what i was doing and it was just it was just a hassle i'm sending a jackal up here to check this base and he did take it um so i'm gonna have to take that down because if the cutter gets an expansion especially this early he's going to be able to start pumping hogs like he is there he's going to get a better eco than me unless i expand too and it's just going to be an issue so he's going to try to play the map anyway uh yeah so my next topic uh for discussion is kind of a topic a lot of people um not really a lot of people have been talking about i guess but it's really uh, it's really something I've been thinking about and I've been seeing a lot of, uh, stuff going on about it and everything too, is that, uh, Marco style is, uh, switching to GTA five. Everybody knows he's switching to GTA five. Anybody that watches his channel anyway. Um, and if you guys don't watch his channel, he's got very informative videos. You need to go check him out cause he's awesome. Um, but, uh, he's switching to GTA five, which is, I mean, that's fine. Um, but a lot of people are really upset about it and, um, their reasoning behind it. I understand where they're coming from, but you can't really expect the guy, uh, 
to put the time he's put into these videos and everything, you can't expect him to keep doing it. And, like, putting good content up on Halo Wars is really hard. Um, and I'm not even high level. Um, for him, it's got to be ridiculous because, I mean, there's only a handful of people that are over 45 in 1v1s, and everybody else really just is not on the same level as he is. Um, and it would get boring for me too if I had to just do customs all the time. It's not really fun playing against the same people over and over again. Not to mention the fact this game is so old. Um, just to give you guys my opinion here, uh, Halo Wars is dead. It's a dead game. A lot of you guys already know that. But for those of you still trying to cling to some kind of hope here, uh, Halo Wars is super dead. There's like there's really no way of going around it. There's really nothing to do about it. It's just the fact that it's just dead. Um, and, I mean, you can't really expect much from a game that was uh, made in, what was it, 2009? So, I mean, you can't really expect too much um, from a game that's that old. But if you think about it, this game has lasted that long with like with no DLCs being uplo- uh, updated or anything like that. They do like a leaderboard reset or something like that every here and there, but nothing really big, nothing really fancy. And, I mean, the game has survived. But with the next-gen console coming out and with new games coming out, everyone is going to start playing new stuff, which is fine. Especially, like, with me, I really don't care. Like, if you guys want to go play a different game, go play a different game. I mean, I completely understand. I play other stuff. I don't just play this game. I do play this game a lot. But at the same time, I didn't get onto the uh, the scene as far as like the YouTubers and stuff like that. I didn't get there until later on, so I still have a lot to learn about the game, so it's not boring for me yet. Um, and it's not boring for a lot of people. A lot of people love this game. They're going to keep playing it, and for those of you guys that are like that, come and add me and play with me. I play with everybody um, except people that are really fucking annoying. <laughs> so if you get into my party, just try not to be super fucking annoying. Um, like being really loud and saying really gay shit. Um, but anyway, the um, the whole deal with sw- him switching and a lot of the other YouTubers are switching too. I think uh, I think Kai's is switching. Um, I believe uh, Mitch said something about playing Grand Theft Auto V. And Mitch has been around for a long time in the Halo Wars community. And so, uh, so have a lot of the other people. But they've gotten to the point where they've learned the game essentially as mo- like as much as they can. They cannot really do much more about the game, but I'm still learning, and there's a lot of other people still learning. So, um, Marco, uh, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but I support what you're doing. Uh, switching to another game, you got to do what makes you happy, man, because you can't really, you can't make everybody happy. And, I mean, granted, uh, granted, I think that, you'll do you'll do really good with uh, Grand Theft Auto just because you're a good commentator and it's going to be fun to watch but I don't know like I don't think people have the right to tell you what you've got to do when it's your channel that's you know it's your channel you're doing the uploads you're playing the games like do what you want to do man nobody can tell you what you need to do or what you should do or anything like that so I wouldn't really sweat it man uh, you're a really good commentator um, it doesn't really matter what game you play. I'm going to be there watching it because it's, it's just really fun. Um, but with my channel, uh, the thing I'm going to let you guys know, uh, I can't afford to get the next-gen console because I've got, like some of you guys know, I have a kid. I don't really have the money to be spending on a next-gen console. Um, I don't really have the money to do it. Just point blank, that's it. Also, I haven't played the game extensively like they have, so I'm not really... In a, in a position where I want to quit the game because I'm bored with it because I haven't learned everything yet and that's the way I am with games like if I haven't learned the game yet I'm not done with it and if I haven't mastered the game I'm not done with it so until they take the servers down or until I figure everything out then I'm going to be uploading Halo Wars content until until then I'll be uploading Halo Wars content once it gets to the point that I've mastered this game and I've completely got it figured out, and I've gotten everything down. I've got the timing down. I can play ones, twos, and threes, and just have trouble finding good games. Then that's going to be the point where I quit too. Not everything is going to last forever, and that I mean that goes with everything. Um, that goes with anything, video games. That goes with just anything in general. Um, so that's 
that's just my opinion on what's going on um, with Marco and with a couple of the other YouTubers. I completely support them. Um, I know you guys sub to them for Halo Wars content, and you want to continue to see it, but at the same time, they've got to do what they've got to do for them because, let's face it, if you guys played the same game over and over again and you completely mastered it, unless you're one of those guys that keeps playing a game because you're good at it and you just, you're just going to keep playing it until it completely dies, then... I mean, good for you. You keep doing that. But a lot of people are not like that. And you see my vortex is failing here. I'm just doing really bad here. Um, but, yeah, the um, I, I, think it's a good, I think it's a good move for Marco. He got partnered, and uh, he, needs, he needs new stuff to do because without having new stuff to do, he's going to get really bored. So, I mean, I get bored with his game sometimes too, but at the same time I can take a few days off, play something else, and, you know, I'm, I'm back to wanting to learn more and play more. You know what I mean? So that's, that's my look. Uh, that's my, uh, my view on that. So um, if, you were, if you're one of the people that's been giving Marco shit about his channel, just shut the fuck up because he's, he's a good commentator. Just wait until the GTA 5, like, it actually comes out because then he's going to be playing – He's going to be playing, it's going to be fun, and you're going to realize how stupid it was for you to just sit there and be a dick. Um, I don't know why I recalled here. I should have just let him die here. Well, I guess I can go take the center again with my grunts and everything and then walk him back over there. Um, I do have the reactor, so I'm going to make some vampires and just try to... I'm pretty much just countering everything here, just trying to have fun with it. Um, I like to go uh, with a double haul and uh, hook control maps just because... Once, once you get fully upgraded jackals, they can't really get in the hooks anymore because uh, Tech 3 pretty much matches up with Tech 4 uh, for UNSC, but UNSC doesn't have a Tech 4 uh, anti-infantry, so uh, so the jackals are pretty much OP when it when they get in the hooks and everything. So um, that's my that's my opinion there. Um, I'm losing a bunch of units here and. I think I'm down to one jackal. Oh no, I have some more jackals and stuff over here by this base. I just wasn't porting them through yet. Um, I think I do lose my chieftain here. I think this is one of the parts where I buckled hard, yeah. That's where it was right there. So I'm going to have to rebuild him. But anyway, um, so yeah. So to recap real quick, uh, the first thing was uh, my ideas for the channel. I've got a few things going on that I'm thinking about doing. So uh, just because I haven't posted recently, don't get discouraged. I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff. Um, and with Marco going, uh, don't be upset about it. Don't worry about it because, I mean, there's other people that you can watch, and he's going to have good content as well. So, I mean, if you like Marco and how he commentates like I do, uh, then you're not really going to care which game he's playing. But um, just give him a little space. Let him do what he's got to do. Um, and yeah, um, if you guys want to see Halo Wars content and you want to learn some more stuff, he does have the videos. He had a good point. He's made 200 videos. If you can't learn anything from those, then there's a problem. Um, and I completely agree with that. So go and, I mean, keep looking at his channel. You can look at my channel. A bunch of other people have tutorial stuff out. And I'm going to be putting out some fresh tutorial stuff, stuff I hadn't seen before. And hopefully you guys hadn't seen before too, just stuff that you'd probably like to see. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to also address the fact that I haven't been, uh, I haven't been really active with my YouTube account lately. And, um, it's for a good reason. I have a kid. I mean, that's a very good reason for anything, right? But the, the fact of the matter is she takes a lot of my time, which is fine. I love, I love my daughter. She's awesome. Um, I wouldn't change it for shit. It's awesome. But uh, it means the YouTube channel is going to suffer a little bit. Um, as far as frequency of my uploads, I'm still going to be playing because I do play on my days off. And I can't go see her all the time. So there are going to be days that I'm going to be playing a lot. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Um, but there is going to be mo uh, there are going to be weeks where I don't really get to post much of anything. So uh, just be patient with me, and I promise when I do make the videos and stuff, I'll make it up to you guys, and uh, I promise it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the wait. So uh, you see here, my chieftain got dicked, and that's not good because um, I keep I don't know why, but my chieftain I don't know. I was just really fucked up this game, I guess, but. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here on an expo. He has an expo as well. I'm bumping vamps. I already have third tech stuff. Uh, I could upgrade my chieftain so he lasts a little bit longer, but at this point, I really don't care. 
Um, when my chieftain comes back out, I'm going to teleport, get all my jackals through, and just pile all my units up together. He's not going to be able to counter it because he has a reactor, but I have a reactor, but I've already held both of the reactors long enough to get third tech units, so it's going to be pretty difficult for him to come back from that. Um, I believe he has hornets, he has goss, which is good. I mean, if you go goss hornets against a covenant, it's pretty, it's a pretty good strategy. Um, but I've already got assault beam, so I could go assault beam vamps, and we pretty much be on the level playing field there. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. Um, I've been working a lot as well, on top of having uh, having a lot of time being spent with my daughter. Um, so that's been taking up a lot of my time too, um, but I mean that's life. I mean you got you got to fucking work. If you don't work, you're gonna end up fucking I don't know like not doing shit. And if you're not doing anything, then what's the point? Um, so uh, that's that's essentially what's going on with uh, work and everything. Uh, I covered the YouTube channel what I'm planning on doing with that and. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pour these jackals through and rape these units he tried to push up with, and that's going to be it as far as his units go. Then I'm just going to sit in the middle and soak up that heal and just let him smash units into me. He'll lose units, and I'll just get veterancy and just keep doing whatever. Just building a little bit of everything here because he can't really counter all of this. Um, but, yeah, the um, – I forgot what I was going to say. Um but yeah, like I said, I have a couple of really good ideas. I've actually been thinking about it while I'm at work, uh, which is pretty bad. I should probably be working when I'm at work, but uh, I kind of, I don't know, I find it hard sometimes because I really enjoy this game and I really enjoy making videos for you guys and everything. And I'm enjoying learning 1v1s because it's really fun. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work with that and everything and making strategy guys, writing stuff up, doing some math on some stuff. and. Uh, figuring stuff out here so the, uh, those are going to be the next uh, videos that I'm going to be posting for you guys I just have to get gameplay to put behind them um, and then other than that it's pretty much just going to be me uh, telling you guys uh, what I found with my research that I've done and um, yeah so we'll just see how that goes and everything uh, this game isn't going to last too much longer because I do have I have vamps I have uh, assault beam hunters against this goss I do have uh, tech 3 jackals I'm starting to upgrade my chieftain at some point I believe he's going to lose pretty much his whole army here because I have a counter to everything that he has and the big difference here is that uh, Goss is good and everything but they die super quick to assault beam hunters um, and then his infantry is getting teched out by the jackals because he can't have infantry strong enough to stop my jackals and there I see builds a cobra I don't know why why he built a cobra I had no vehicles whatsoever I don't know if he was just trying to set up a defense there or what he was trying to do but it's not really a good idea um, then again, this guy wasn't really that good. I just kept messing up here, um, which I can't really blame the whole thing on. But I'm going to go ahead and get inheritance there and just go over there, push on that reactor and take it. Uh, but, yeah, um, I think what I'm going to – I did a little bit of work on my channel today to separate my stuff and make some playlists and everything. So hopefully that will make it a little easier to navigate my channel. I tried to add channel art, but I'm having a problem trying to get a picture that's big enough. Um, to put on there because it's got to be like 2600 pixels and that's that's fucking ridiculous so i i haven't been able to find a picture yet i did upload uh the team high cloud intro video as the uh the trailer i did add a couple of sections uh put some stuff in some playlists uh 1v1s and 2v2s are separated uh the rest of the channel is 3v3 so i left them all out um I made a section for my comedy videos where I've done the in real life videos and the other stuff like uh, the Marco style video and um, I'm going to put the other videos and stuff in there as well and hopefully you guys will enjoy how it's all sectioned out like that but I think um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do tutorials on uh, the DLC maps for 1v1 and 2v2s that way people can learn a little bit there and I know a lot of the people from Halo Wars Legion are probably going to give me shit because it's going to be stuff that either they've already figured out and I'm just not aware that they figured it out or it's uh, it's wrong by their standards but um, I'm just going to show you guys what I found with my independent research here and this is not really going to be a guide to get you guys to be high level players or anything but it's pretty much going to show you guys how to play um, and learn the game and figure out a couple of different things rather than just build orders and how to build tanks or how to build this, that, and the other. you got to have a mindset when you play this game. If you really don't, then 
it's going to be an issue. So that's what I'm hoping I'll be able to teach you guys with those videos is to teach you guys how to play the map control, teach you what leaders are pretty good on the maps, uh, what mathematical advantages they have, uh, especially with eco, like how forge gets his eco straight away and stuff like that, and how to counter a forge eco-wise and stuff like that. And, um, I'll post a few videos and hopefully you guys will like them. If you, d if you guys do, then I'll just continue with the series and start making the one. I'll put the 1v1 tutorial stuff in the 1v1 section and then the 2v2 tutorials I'll put in the 2v2s. Um, that way they'll stay kind of uh, split up how they're supposed to be. Uh, and hopefully uh, it'll teach you guys some stuff because um, let's face it, this game is going to be pretty dead soon, so we need to go ahead and have everybody because I know there's a lot of people out there that are just like me they have a thirst for knowledge for this game and they want to figure the game out and then they're going to be satisfied with leaving but right now I don't want the game to die without knowing the game and completely figuring it out because I I don't know I kind of like figuring the game out completely and then going from there um but I don't know maybe that's just me being greedy or something <laughs> but uh I can't really think anything else to say. This has been a pretty long video. I've been just rambling and saying nothing. So I'm just going to push on this guy's base here. I just countered all of his stuff. He can't really make any units that are counter mine. If he does kill any, then I just replace him with more units that have full health and then just keep pushing on the base. He's not going to be able to stop it. He let me get Tech 3 everything, essentially. So um, Also, to let you guys know, I bought a copy of the game uh, so I could have an extra copy because my copies break sometimes. It came with a DLC code. So I might do a contest or something soon, uh, and maybe I'll do a DLC code giveaway so you guys can play the DLC maps and everything. Uh, maybe I'll have, like, at the end of my series, I'll do a little quiz or something. Whoever gets the highest score, they get a DLC code or something like that. But we'll see how it works. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for the next one.